Now let's talk about models and optics. Do you remember where models are declared? That's right, the models.txt file that's inside of the data folder of the engine. So this is the same folder that levels.txt was located in. To learn how to navigate to these files and all about Sublime Text, I suggest that you rewatch the beginning of the game mode lesson. Assuming that we remember how to find and navigate the folders to find files to then open and edit, let's navigate to build data models.txt and double click to find a new tab of that file. All right, so now that it's open, let's look at lines one through five. That shows the comment instructions and the syntax of how to load models. If you still need information on what syntax and commenting is, please refer to the game mode lesson that goes into greater detail about this. So we notice here that there are two commands that have two parameters for each command. There's load and no. These are different ways to declare a model so that the game can use them. Do you remember where your code for your models are located? That's right, the data charts folder. Load is the command that loads the model file, which is the second parameter into an object name or variable, which is the first command. This command loads in the model at the initial load of the game. You want to use this command for an object that's going to be used throughout the whole game from the very beginning. A perfect example of this is a player. Players are needed in many different parts of the game, so it's better to load it at the start of the engine. Let's look at line nine as an example. All right, so we have load flash and the second parameter points to the flash file, data chars, miscellaneous flash.txt. As we can see, we are declaring an object variable called flash and loading the path to the flash model into it. Flash is the first parameter and the path to the model file is the second parameter. Now anywhere else in the code, you can refer to this model by using the variable flash. We'll see examples of this soon. No does the same thing as load, except it isn't loaded at the initial load of the engine. The object variable is created, but it would need to be loaded in first in order for it to be used. Let's look at an example at line 18. Here's the object variable called Apple. So it's stored in the background, but it's not loaded in the main memory. This is something like food to replenish energy. This isn't necessary throughout the whole engine. It only needs to be loaded at certain times. We'll see an example of this later in the course. So yeah, so these are the only two commands necessary for this file. This file also syncs up with OpenBOR stats, which we'll see in the next few lessons where we discuss the different model types. See you soon. We hope you're learning what you can from these free tutorials. Again, if you feel you need more in-depth or extensive services or extra help with learning and getting the most out of this and don't want to wait on the videos, please feel free to join our DBH community for only $5. That doesn't mean you can't ask questions on here though. So if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post those. Like and share this playlist for those who may need it. At the end of the day, we just want to help people build their engineering and coding skills to be efficient wherever they want to go. I'm Kevin, appreciate you watching and be brilliant. Peace.